Hello dear friends. Today let us talk about the general characters of gymnosperms. So in this video we are going to discuss about the general characters of gymnosperms. Gymnosperms are a group of plants that are placed in between pteridophytes and angiosperms. Usually it is considered as an ancestor of angiosperms. So now I am going to show you a picture of gymnosperm. This is Samia belonging to gymnosperm. The white colored structure that you see out here is called is the male cone of Samia. Samia is usually uh, taken as an ornamental plant. Among gymnosperms, Samia pygmia is a species that is um, the, the smallest among gymnosperms. So, coming to the plan, uh, what gymnosperms are. Gymnosperms means, the word gymnos means naked and sperma means seed. Okay, that means the ovules are born nakedly. It is not covered. This plant group originated in the Devonian period of Paleozoic era. In the Devonian period of Paleozoic era. So, the plant body of gymnosperm, it is uh, sporophytic and it is diploid. Okay, it is independent and it is differentiated into root stem and leaves. It is woody and perennial. The root system of gymnosperm is a normal taproot system and the root may often contain uh, association of endophytic algae or fungi. The root has diarc to polyarc condition and the companion cells are absent. The steel is monostelic. Vascular bundles are arranged in the form of a ring. The vascular bundles are collateral, endarch and open. Secondary growth is usually present in the stem of gymnosperms. When we talk about the secondary growth, two types of wood are produced in, secondary wood are produced in gymnosperms. So let us see what are the two types of secondary wood that is formed in gymnosperms. They are manozylic and pycnozylic wood. Manozylic wood means it has broad medullary rays with secondary xylem which are not that compact. Secondary xylem is produced less in number that means the radial width of secondary xylem is very less. So this type of wood we can see in cycas and such. Whereas pycnozylic wood we can see that the medullary rays are very narrow. Secondary xylem which is formed is very compact and it is monozylic and this type of wood is found in the wood of conifers and we can see that this wood is durable and thereby the gymnosperms, the plants that possess pycnozylic wood are used for as timber and for making furnitures and uh, such uh, things. So, when we talk about the secondary xylem of gymnosperms, the wood contains or the xylem contains uh, only tracheids and no vessels are present, vessels are absent. And in companion cells, uh, in, in the phloem, sorry, the, in the phloem, the companion cells are absent. So, this is one characteristic feature of gymnosperms. The xylem is devoid of vessels and the phloem is devoid of companion cells. The leaves when you see are evergreen and they have xerophytic characters. The young leaves show circinate venation. So these, these are also uh, special characters of gymnosperms. Evergreen leaves with xerophytic characters and a young leaves showing circinate venation just like that of the pteridophytes. So, coming to the reproductive structures, the reproductive structures are called cones. They are unisexual with no perianth except in knee tails. 
the megasporophylls they contain ovules and microsporophylls they bear sporangia and microsporophylls when you say they are seen as reduced structures the size of uh, male cone is much lesser uh, than the female cone here we are going to we are seeing a picture of megasporophyll of cycas okay it shows megasporophyll with ovules the green colored structures are ovules and what we see there the light brown structure is the megasporophyll so the ovules are born on megasporophyll in case of cycas there is no cone in cycas there is no formation of cone in cycas rather the megasporophyll is inserted in between the um, foliage leaves so when we take about the pollination here the pollination is anemophilous the pollen tube function as hostoria the male gametophyte is dependent on female gametophyte and we can see polyembryony out here and the embryo development is myroblastic type of embryo development that is seen in gymnosperms so thank you thank you very much for listening to this video hope you liked it and we'll be uh, discussing more about the plant plants uh, thank you very much have a nice day